hello, Mountain Brook. I am Dr. Susan Wally with your edition of All in a Minute. The vaping culture is growing all around us, and it especially impacts the lives of children and teens. Using an electronic cigarette, vaping pen, or personal vaporizer produces an aerosol from a liquid often containing nicotine and is known as vaping. Based on a popular product, vaping can also be called juuling. Many vaping devices teens are using look very similar to pens or USB thumb drives and are illegal for anyone to purchase under the age of 19 in Alabama because they are considered tobacco products. Vaping nicotine is highly addictive and one small jewel pod contains the same amount of nicotine as an entire pack of cigarettes. The high nicotine in these products like Juul greatly increases the likelihood of addiction. Vaping devices can be used to vape flavored liquid with nicotine or even liquid containing THC or other substances. Vaping has become attractive to children and teenagers because of the advertisement of various flavors, easily hidden devices, and the ability to purchase products at gas stations and convenience stores. Vaping has emerged in middle and high schools across the country. This is concerning because we know that nicotine impacts the developing brain. We know that vaping can cause lung irritation and increases the risk that teens progress to using cigarettes, but the long-term health impact is still relatively unknown. Let's keep our children safe and healthy by talking to them about vaping, the chances of addiction, and the impact it can have on their health. For more information on vaping, go to www.allinmountainbrook.org. This is Dr. Susan Wally with All in a Minute.